Hey everybody, I am leaving for Six Probe and first tech day. I cannot wait. I cannot wait. This is so exciting. Anyway, see you later.
That'll be perfect. <laughs> <laughs> Hey John, you can't see me. Sign in. I'm going to see this way. Oh, are you only filming? Yeah. The grand tour. <laughs> Hi guys. Hi guys. <laughs> Go on then, Danny, if you know it, sing it. Got the mic. I didn't send you a dog. I know I found a lot of fun in the mouth. I did that first one and not the others. Such a difficult artist for what? Yeah, because you did well. A minute ago. Oh, I'm, I'm on. I'm on. Do I need two shots? You, you, do you, you really want to be in this vlog? I can film you all the time if you want. It's fun. Oh, be legal. Yeah. <laughs> And we got our little and if you socks, and, to, socks and a string. Try and keep the socks separate. Um, I might do when they're really close, have an effect on each other. So I've on that here. Yeah, I'm gonna have like each. Like, I'll need a cheek. Either cheek. Either cheek. Strap on to the pipe, are you? That can work for me. I've seen it falls out somebody's leg before, to be fair, when they have had it. Like like like. I was once on stage and so I'm all my, mic stopped, my mic stopped working and it was like my first when ever show. When's the next one going out? Wednesday. Wednesday? Oh, every Wednesday. Every Wednesday. I played Keep every single Wednesday. <laughs> we should all get time to do it. No. <laughs> yeah. I'm on holiday for two weeks now. So. I'm not for you actually. Oh, I'm I've got nine days on. I've got zero days on. The last time I did a show like this, I was dead. <laughs> oh, I needed. I was getting my mic turned on, sorry. All right, no, I had to. Let's try that. This is Ian. He's my partner in crime. I feel like I'm, I'm sitting on the wrong side of you. <laughs> that felt really wrong. <laughs> I'm the artiste, but I'm a particular sort of artiste in this album. Yeah, he's going to put inappropriate pictures in the folder. <laughs> this is the <a> everybody. <laughs> Everyone's for the crime. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god, oh my god you guys. Oh Oh, 
Are we ready for tech with dress, everybody? Oh, yes. Yeah. Everybody's just in their own world, getting everything sorted. Put my lines. Oh yeah. Thank you. This is perfect. And then I just turn and go. This is what I love you, Sam. Did you just do a look to the camera and take the glasses off? So we're about to start the tech run in costume. I'm in the green room. Got a TV up there so that we can see what's on. And I'm just praying up that uh, everything goes well and that I'm not caught getting changed with the mic on. What's your name and who do you play, darling? So I am Lucy and I play Saleswoman number one, a little new, Kiki, the colourist, and someone else. And someone else. <laughs> so, vlog, I've actually got to go, you know. Yeah, oh. we're about to start. Break our leg, darling. Oh. And that is the backdrop at the start of the show. <coughs> little bruiser. Bruiser. Bruiser words. How are you feeling, my darling? Alright. Alright? Yeah. A little bit. I know I feel, feel alright tonight. Yeah. But it's a bit nerve wracking knowing that the first night's sell out. Yeah. And then the yeah. Thursday night's sell out and press night. Yeah. Yeah. Which night is press night? Thursday. Look at this beautiful lighting. Act one is done. Don't know what's happening. No idea what's happening. When the lights were on, there was some nice light over here. <laughs> And now we're going into darkness again. Oh, oh, yay! Hi. Okay, guys, we're going to go from the top of this one back. Oh, we're going, we're going back again. I'll be there on Monday night at o'clock, and we will see who walks the walk. out of the building at like 11, <laughs> like 10 past 11 I think it was and then there were some road closures on the way home which meant I took an extra 10 minutes to get home. Hitting <laughs> Debbie stepping in to say that some people took an hour to get home so I feel very lucky that I only added an extra 10 minutes on. There has been conversation today of people being reminded about the closures on the motorway. Fortunately I was actually on the move when I realised that the motorway that I use was closing and I was like oh I need to go a different way before I get stuck <laughs> so I was lucky that I remembered as I was driving out of Wakefield sorry to those who didn't know and I wasn't able to warn I'm so sorry yeah I'm exhausted still got my show makeup on but if you can't tell when I'm tired, my eyes start to slide off my face. 
I've been told this since I was like a kid. There's, e there's photographic evidence of this and I am putting it in video form of my eyes sliding off my face when I'm tired. It's just the shape of my eyes. It's just my face. But yeah, I was on edge tonight. <laughs> I don't know if anybody else could tell, but I was just thinking all the time because I was trying to work out how long I had for things. Some things I probably got, I was, I was probably rushing quite a lot. Probably did a gazillion steps, but I had to take my Fitbit off for the show. I should have a good sleep tonight. I'll watch a couple of YouTube videos to wind down and then just let myself sleep. And I have a feeling this will be a 10 hour sleep night because I'm so much full of energy right now. I can feel it in my body. I'm physically exhausted right now. And it has been a bit stoppy starty. This is the first one with tech and costume. But we've got the proper costume and tech run tomorrow. So it, it'll still probably be a bit stoppy starty. But they did say that, you know, for the first with everything, it didn't go that badly. It didn't go that badly. Like, I'm one for tradition, which is where if the dress one goes badly you'll have a good show <laughs> that's what I've always been told <laughs> but we'll see what happens anyway good night I will see if I can take you behind the screen tomorrow um I'm trying to think of what else I can show you costumes I can show you my costumes at some point um but yeah I was gonna say thanks for watching but this isn't finished yet oh no it'll be finished after tomorrow <laughs> this is all tech and then I'll do a separate video just for show week. Um, yeah, good night. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Hello everybody. It is day three of tech, which means the show starts tomorrow. I got home late last night. To be fair, we all got home late last night because uh, we finished pretty much bang on 11, I think. So by that point we were just like, everybody get out. <laughs> And they were going around the dressing room saying, everybody needs to leave as soon as they can. And I was still in my bra trying to get my mic back off. <laughs> and then there were some motorway closures, so I ended up to go in the back roads. Some people got stuck um, because of the motorway closures and it took them over an hour to get home. Fortunately, as I was coming up to one of the roundabouts where it was one way to get to the motorway and one way to go to the back roads, I was just there going, I need to take the back roads tonight. I need to follow the signs of Agathas in Rothwell because I don't think the road that I usually use is open. So that was the point when I got, <laughs> just thought, yeah, I need to go to the back roads. So it only ended about 10 minutes onto my journey, but I got home at about quarter to midnight. And then because I was winding down, I think I felt, I think I went to sleep at about half one, two-ish this morning and then woke up at 10. So I managed to get a good night's sleep considering. <laughs> yeah, stayed in bed with the cat because the cat was holding me down like cats normally do uh, my eyes watering again this happens occasionally I wonder if it's hay fever I wonder if the pollen count is up last night I did lots of running around if only my Fitbit was on <laughs> might have told me how many steps I did when I was running around the theatre um, there was a point last night when I just thought I thought the scene change was going to be really tight because I have to take off some set and then run around to come into um, the end well, it's all in the Gibbon remix basically I take off part of the salon and then I have to come round grab a prop and then also be in place to bring a bench on for the courtroom scene and last night I think I was in a moment of panic <laughs> because when I got onto the stage and sat down and looked at Ian who plays the DA's assistant and I was just like I don't have the thong <laughs> So fortunately, we now have a fail safe. So if I do happen to forget the song, he can go off and get it for me and sneak it into my folder. Hopefully, I've learnt my lesson after last night. Um, but it was just a check. It wasn't a show, so it's fine. And the fact that I looked at him and just went, I don't have the thong. <laughs> Ian, you're the best. You're the best. I was in such a moment of panic because after the show, I was just like, I think we may need to, need to have a little look at one of these scene changes. And then this morning when I thought about it and watched some of the videos that our choreographer uploaded so that we could see how it was looking. For our eyes only. Sorry. I don't think I'll ever get permission to show, show those because it's... Yeah, we'll see what happens. Um, our choreographer filmed some bits to show us what things look like. And when I looked at it, it was just like, that is plenty of time. That is plenty of time. I just need to breathe. <laughs> 
I think it's because some of the scene um, changes have kind of changed slightly. And uh, one of the boys came over to me and said, Debs, are you supposed to be striking the set on this? It was just like, I don't think so. She was like, no, your name is not. Look, it was just like, I've never seen that before. So I was running <laughs> to make sure I was in the right place to take off part of the salon. So yeah, I think it was just a pure moment of panic last night. But tonight should be a lot better. I know how long I've got between certain things. So hopefully tonight I will breathe. <laughs> just breathe, Debs. Just breathe. Anyway, I will see you later at the theatre. I will give you a little tour of the stage today, I think, um, and behind the stage. That's the plan for today. And then we'll see what happens during the show <laughs> of what I can show you, we'll see. <laughs> Just cause I'm in the wings a lot. Um, my camera, um, when I, I leave it on the props table during the show, cause changes, it's easier for me just to focus on getting changed. Anyway. I'll see you later at the theatre. It is currently quarter past 12, it's midday, and I will be leaving home to get to the theatre between 20 past and half past to make sure I've got plenty of time. But to be fair, last night I left at about 25 past and got there pr pretty much bang on six o'clock, which is when we're allowed to go into the theatre anyway. So, just breathe, Debs. You know what you're doing, it's fine. <laughs> See you later. So I just arrived and put my stuff upstairs. It is quarter past six, so I've got some time. But I am starting for oh you. Yeah. Stage left. So let's show you what's back here. So we've got um, L's Red Bulls. The cars had fun drinking those um, so that Danny can just get completely hyper in Take It Like a Man. Um, that is the table for the party, so it will have drinks on it. My menus are over here. I need my menus. I put that on stage and off stage in the second half. Those are the salon chairs. And we've also got the magazines there as well. If you're wondering what they're drinking on stage, they're drinking cloudy lemonade. We've got Elle's dad's golf clubs just here. And the benches are just here as well. And that's a screen, so that we can see Jonathan when we're in the wings. And then this is the back of that beautiful screen. It's a slightly different screen from last time because we have doors in the back of the screen, which are also part of the screen. So where that gap is, you can see, that's where the doors are, and then they split down the middle. And then we have a trusty man who sits over there, who opens the doors when they need to be open. We're not allowed to touch it, basically. So, the doors are queued open so that nobody has to touch them. I don't even go through the back anyway. But yeah, so that we've got a walk through. They put a black curtain behind so that if we're in a pinch, we can just do this. But yeah, that is the back of the screen. Beth is somewhere around here setting costumes because she's got a lot of quick changes. There she is. Oh, hi, hi there. I'm giving them kind of a tour of the wings and what we've got oh, back here. Oh, welcome to my manic quick This is Beth's room. dressing room. <laughs> Literally, Beth doesn't no. do a dressing room. She doesn't have time to do it. I believe it was, was it eight costumes that you've got in the first half? And many of them are quick changes. All of them, yeah. I don't I mean, have a yeah. single normal change. Yeah. But yeah, so yeah. that's all her costumes at the back there. Some are on the floor, some are spurted around. And some I don't are... even have time to get to here. Some I yeah. have to literally do. One I yeah. literally do behind the door there. Yeah, right behind the curtain. With uh, people to help you. Yes. Any I people, need people to help you. <laughs> There's no way I could do it by myself. Do you like your headshot that's going on? <gasps> We've got it. We've got no, them. Stop. Beautiful headshot. That is it's beautiful. Headshot thing. Oh, that's cute. Absolutely night. love oh, I'm it. Gonna, I'm going to be needing a copy of that at the end. <laughs> <laughs> it. it will be best new headshot. <laughs> yeah, it will. That will forever be my new headshot. But yeah, we've got more chairs over here. That is the table for the salon. We've got Judge's gavel over here. Bex. My gavel? Where is my gavel? It's over here. It's right here. Do you have the book as well? There you go. Uh, thank you giving a tour of the backstage area today. This is where other benches live. These are all quartering benches. And um, 
This bench here is the bane of my life. This big bench here. If there's traffic in the wings, it becomes impossible. But yeah, and as you saw before, this is the props table. It smells scented. Is it scented? <laughs> Joe Malone, rose scented. Oh. Yeah, Let's have a look. Mm. Let's have a whiff. But yeah, so I have got my menus, so they need to go over here. There are my menus, I need to know where they are. I've got my trays. My notebook and pen, which is actually more like a Apple pen, because it's not an, an actual pen. Oh well. We've got the town and country. I'm assuming Elle magazine somewhere around here as well. What's that? Ah, Elle magazine. The, one of the most important props in the show. <laughs> you got Cara's stenographer thing for when she's uh, typing up everything in court. Dry run. I've done a dry run. Ah, oh, yes. It's, 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 slightly, but it's, it's amazing, isn't it? Line. I took the ring. Oh, oh, yes. Took the engagement ring. <laughs> Thank you very much. With blue bin. Blue My blue most important blue one, blue blue which blue I almost blue forgot blue last blue night, blue I got on stage, blue. looked at Ian and went, I haven't got the thong, and he ran off. <laughs> so we've got to have a fail safe that, that happens that's again. That's not very professional, sorry. It's <laughs> not going to work, you cut. <laughs> <laughs> I did have it though, we sorted it out, we've got, we've got things in place now, and look, it was only tech last night, it won't happen again. But if it does, Deb, I'm sorry, Tom, to ask you for your salon drawers, Deb. <laughs> so, had a full conversation with that about, with Andy today. <laughs> And that's all the shirts. Um, that is the shirt that if he wore, he'd get beat up on the street. But yeah, we've got more stuff over here. So we've got dog treat for the dogs. We've got all the Christmas things for when the girls go in on, it's not take it like a man. Ship on my shoulder. Ship on my shoulder Christmas bits here. The roses that are delivered. These are the wonderful shirts um, that the girls model in Take It Like a Man. That one is Take It Like a Man. And then we've got glasses over here. My glasses, they will be filled with cloudy lemonade. And the tables for serious. Got some beautiful pink cushions here as well. And then got the bed. Again, only used in one scene. <laughs> yeah. Got the toilet, which is very, very important. Because without the toilet, well, it's not a bathroom, is it? And then we've got the clothing rails. The clothes are supplied by Cara, who has her own business. Um, she thrifts a lot, and yeah, the rails are hers as well. So thank you very much, Cara, for all of that. And then this is where we will be picking up all our mic packs from. I need mine adjusting at some point because it was a bit sore yesterday. But yeah, as you can see, it's all got names and numbers. And my one, right there. D.A. Judge Riley, 24, that's me. But yeah, I think that is everything down here. There's a lot, there's a lot crammed down here. But we make it work, we yeah. make it work. And uh, Susie is wonderful for the amount of stuff that she has supplied. We wouldn't have a show without Susie, so. We've got George again. Hello. We've got Dale over there, there's Callahan. I've given Beth some toeless tights and I can't get changed until I have my um, mic because it goes under my costume. But yeah, then you come back. This is the back corridor. And then you can get back in again. This door. And then this door again. And we're back in the stage left wing. more dog treats. We have to buy the dogs in this show, of course. Come all the way down here. And there's the stage with our door in the middle. Yeah. Yeah. That is everything. It's the doggies. Hello, Coco. Hello, Romeo.
Alright, and the last one here, people have just left. I'm just about to leave myself. It is 25 to 11, so we did well tonight, considering that we got out late last night. Um, it was an alright run. Um, Andy's were happy. Just a couple of niggly things, but I think there's going to be some early practice of some things tomorrow, uh, just to sort some stuff out. Um, but yeah, just need to take my uh, my pack downstairs, and then I can leave and go home. And again, Debs, don't go on the motorway. Don't go on the motorway. You'll get stuck. Go the back roads, Debs. Go the back roads. I forgot to close out the vlog properly, didn't I? So I'll basically I'll be wearing the same thing in the start of the next vlog, which is the show week vlog. Um, but yeah, just to close out this one. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. See you later.